Hey guys, TG so good, aka the goods. I'm back. All right, so uh, right away in the top right corner, there'll be a card for anybody who wants to know how to install mods and play with mods for NBA 2K18 on the PC. You can click on that card, um, go back, click on that card, and it'll take you to show you how to install them. This video, I want to show you how you can find where the files are okay all right so first and foremost you're going you don't you might not need this but this is what i use i use a hex editor called hxd if you would like to use that you can just google hxd and i think this is the one here i don't know i've, I've had mine for a long time but if you click on that yeah this is it you can download this so basically this is what happens when I pull up this program nothing is here when I go to NB I'm gonna go to my NBA 2k 18 directory my steam directory And if I scroll all the way down, there'll be a file called manifest. If I just drag it over to HXD, you might hear my daughter singing in the background, by the way. But if I uh, drag it over to the HXD program and maximize this, um, you'll notice there are some words on the right side. And these basically tell you where the files are. They tell you which archive the file is in. So basically, let's look at this one. This is English.if, and it is in the 0A archive. All right. So maybe, you know, you can um, change the number of bytes shown. As you can see, 24, 48. You know, these get longer and longer, but I keep mine on 16. All right. So this is how I find files. So um, you guys can use this too. So what I do with that is, let's let's look for the LeBron James face, which is PNG 1013.if for the 3D file of his face, and face 1013.if for the like the facial skin arms tattoos, all of that. Anything that's skin um, will be in face 1013.f. So let's just look for it. Let's type in control F and then face, type in face 1013.if. Make sure you select text string. And sometimes just, just search in all directions, I guess. So here we go. There it is. So face 1013.if and it is in the 0s archive. And let's look up the other file. PNG 1013.if which is right above the face 1013. Here it is. It is right here, right here in the OS archive. Also, so they're both in the OS archive. So the very next thing I would do is, you have to have a tool called NBA 2K17 Explorer. Now, in this video, while I'm recording, I'm not going to look this up to see where you download it from or any of that i will try i repeat i will try to provide a link you know what people are going to complain if i don't tell them where it is so let me just go ahead and look it up because people some people are good at looking up things by themselves some people need that extra you know need you to show them All right, so I just type in NBA 2K17 Explorer. Just click on this first link here. 
there you go then you download it it, it says nba 2k 17 but we're going to be editing nba 2k 18 so getting back on track going back to the hxd program so we want to go to the archive os so that we can um get the lebron james 3d model and skin textures so we're going to open up the 2k 17 explorer this is a very basic tutorial you need to know how to do these and these steps in order to move on to harder steps all right so first thing you want to do is set everything up go to options preferences and then as you can see here in my directory it says select NBA 2k 17 directory so I right here it has where my NBA 2k 17 game is I'm going to get rid of that but first I'm going to select none to uncheck any of these archives now I'm going to go back up here and click select and then I'm going to find where my NBA 2k 18 executable file is the exe file I already have a shortcut for it so it's in my steam steam apps common nba 2k 18 folder so just select folder you're not looking for the actual exe you just want the folder that it's in so select folder and we want zero s don't worry about what these say don't worry about if it says bucks or bulls don't worry about that zero s so i have it selected so now I just press the red x go to file load archives and what it is going to do it's going to load everything up so while it's loading I just want to tell you um, I'm hoping that everybody watching this has already learned how to mod from NBA 2k 17 because that will make this much easier you know, I I prefer if no one asks me to go back and explain how to do anything from past iterations, um, just because I'm trying to give you the basics here. All right, so what we want to do is I already told you the name of the file, so I want you to type in PNG ten thirteen dot if press enter and we go right to it. And if you notice. The face file is right there also so don't actually click on them like I just did um, just right right click on them and then export to archive basically it's just going to export it to whatever folder you wanted to go to so I'm going to export to archive I'm going to select desktop because I wanted to go to my desktop and save it Face 1013.if. I'm going to export to archive. Again, select desktop, save it. Now I want to minimize this 2K17 Explorer. Here are the two files. Now, as you can see, they won't do anything. You can't really open them this way. But what I do is I have a program called 7zip. All right so I'm going to all right I'm going to close 7-zip and I'm going to pretend I'm opening it for the first time I open it up and then I go to file open uh, wait a minute oh no I don't have to go to file open I just go to I just find desktop right here in this address bar so now I'm on my desktop and I just look for that face here it is face 1013 file and then I can see everything that's inside of it so right now I'm looking inside of this file and I'll show you guys let's see if it'll come up yet yeah, I'll show you guys that's a texture for LeBron's face the other ones are going to appear invisible but they're actually not invisible just have to have certain programs to open them but anyway I'm not going to get into all of that 
um, all of these are inside of the face file. So if we back out and go to the PNG 1013 if you will see a lot more stuff. Okay. So these are the basic things. And I'll show you just want to show you guys really quick. So I'm going to I don't know if I will be able to do this, but I really want to do this. Uh, I want to kind of go over the scene files. I'll do it a little bit right now. The scene files work with the model files. These are the sets of instructions for the model files. So for instance, if I go to high head scene, it's going to have the instructions for all of the high head models. So like high head, blah, 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 dot model has all the instructions here. So if I wanted to open this in Blender or 3D program, I'm just going to show you guys really quickly. A quick way to do it if you're a beginner and you don't really know what you're doing just create a folder out here it's called new folder and just take all the files you don't need the shaders don't worry about the shaders all the files except for the shaders put them in here all right we can minimize 7 zip they're in that folder now. These are all the files from this PNG 1013. You can do the same thing for the face if you want to work on textures. But let's just start with the 3D. Okay. So this is the part where um, I'll try to provide a link to whatever video I have that tells you what you need to install to get Blender working with the NBA 2K files. But since I already have it working because the same plugin is used for 2K17, right? I go here. If I go over to the right, I click over here, and let's minimize some of this stuff. Go down here, select the folder to import from. So I'm gonna want to select desktop new folder 2 and high head scene high head dot s c n e i click import give it a second everything loads up and let me show you let me show you what happens all right it's giving me a 3d model in fact, it's giving me several 3D models. I'll show you. It's giving me one, two, it's giving me six 3D models. So I'll separate them so that you can see. It, it wasn't like this for 2K17, but that's how they have it for 2K18. So that's what we're going to work with. All right. So I'm I'm going to just try and export this just for my own testing. But um this video right here is done. I'm not going to show you how to export in this video because I haven't done it yet for 2K18, so I need to test it out myself. But I just wanted to show you guys how you can use a hex editor to find the the name of the archive that the file that you want is in. And some of you might be saying, well, how do you even know what the file numbers are for LeBron's face? How did you know that? Well, it's been the same for ever since 2K put him in the game. His face has always been 1013. So if you just go to your browser and type in CFID NBA 2K, and let's see we can use uh let's use 2k17 because that they should mostly be the same 
So 2K17, if we type that in, the very first thing, CFID, NBA, 2K17, first thing comes up is a list. And let's see. There, there are all the players there. Okay. So let's look at one. Hito Targaloo, 0640, stuff like that. Or just 640, 0640, I don't know. Um... But yeah, you can use this as a starting point. All right, this video is done. I um, hope you guys understand how to use this. I'm not going to make this video. Uh, I'll make this video unlisted. This video will be specifically and exclusively for members of the NLSC. Um, if you, I don't know if you'll be able to find it by searching on YouTube. I don't want to do it that way. I just I'm going to make it unlisted so everybody on NLSC will see it. You won't be able to search for it. You'll have to go to NLSC to see it. All right, guys, that's how you get started. I'll be back with another video to see if I can actually export a file.